What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is April 1st at 12.23pm. Um, I'm currently at Gold's Gym in Austin, Texas. I'm a little less than a month out from my next competition, so I'm feeling pretty tired right now. So I'm starting off with some row delt raises. Um, I'm doing 4 sets of 20 reps with light to moderate weight. I typically never go heavy since I focus on the feel of the movements and my form. Um, and yeah. I usually rest my head on the bench at first to get the feel of it. My back is still pretty sore from posing. And next is side lateral raises. Again, it's four sets of 20 reps. I really like to use light weight and do as many reps as possible, even though I shoot for 20. But honestly, sometimes I lose count. I also do front uh, raises with the dumbbell and with a plate that you'll later see. I prefer the dumbbells. I like to get my blood moving with a warm-up of things I later incorporate. And yeah, that bench was annoying me. <laughs> I get easily annoyed when I'm working out. I don't know. Now, you may see me incorporate other movements here, but I'll explain them later, I promise. I also, out of habit, pose between sets, or if I'm having anxiety or any really like negative thoughts, um, it kind of just calms me down. So I hope that doesn't annoy you guys, but I do pose quite a bit. Um, I also do it to get used to doing it in front of people. That's helped me tremendously. Um, I've learned this past year significantly to just not care what anyone else thinks um, or says about you because ultimately it's what you think of yourself at the end of the day that counts. Now I'm going to do some front raises using a 10 pound plate and again it's 4x20. Um, 4x20 is usually all of everything that I do right now at least for upper body day. For leg day, it's a little bit different. Um, I also typically go by how something feels. Um, I go by how it looks as well, but I mainly go by feel. The movements I do sometimes look strange, and uh, I do get like talked to a lot, and like I get told that, oh, that's not right, but like, with my body, it works for me, so to each their own. So 
I actually wasn't paying close enough attention and I guess grabbed two of the wrong dumbbells. I grabbed a 15 and a 10. Um, I just scoured the gym to actually find the 10 pounds, but we found it. <laughs> Next up is overhead tricep extensions. I love, love, love going heavy with this one. But again, start small and work your way up. You don't want to pull anything. Um, I always try and make sure my hands make a triangle, like around the dumbbell to grip it, if that makes any sense. Um, obviously, you can't do that with one hand, but with two hands, you can. And again, with the bent over rear delt raises, I don't know if I said that they were bent over before, but you want your body or your back almost parallel with the ground, but you have to make sure that it's always straight no matter what. Um, if it gets too difficult, just go down and wait until you feel comfortable. You can always move up. Don't get discouraged. I typically do have my hair up in a ponytail. I'm sure people are going to comment about that. Um, however, I did get it done today, so I kind of wanted to like not have the ponytail crease. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Next up is standing alternating curls with dumbbells, and once again, it's four sets of 20 reps per arm though. Um, and I like to use moderate to heavy weight with this one, and towards the end, I love squeezing at the top and dropping it slowly, but towards the beginning, I just like to get the blood flowing and really feel the pump, I guess. I feel like Arnold when I say that. Now, you might see me do these like in between a lot. This is the military press standing. Um, I typically just do this to loosen up my shoulders if I do train shoulders. Uh, they get pretty tight, so I do this just to get the blood flowing once again. Um, be careful where you drop your shoulders. You don't want to drop them too low. Next up is the front barbell or easy bar raise. Um, I go as light as I can with this one. I go 20 to 40 pounds. Um, usually that's all I need to just feel the contraction. And my form is kind of off at the beginning with this one, but um, once the initial few times of doing it and warming up, you get the hang of it. Also, make sure you control the movement. Don't be jerky like you see me doing in some parts. Uh, and now I'm going to do uh, easy bar curls. 
I um, watch closely where I have my hands. I want them uh, shoulder length apart. So um, I typically look very closely in the mirror to see how things are uh, looking. And again, I just do four by 20 of these. Probably end up doing a little bit more. Uh, also, I always keep lip gloss. That's like my big thing. I have like 50 things of lip gloss everywhere I go. Can't have chapped lips. I'm usually um, not this posy. Actually, I take that back. I totally am. Um, last show, I came in really dialed in, but my posing was way off, so that affected my placing, of course. And so this time around, I want to make sure that I get that flawless. So I am always, always doing that. Also, uh, my playlist on Spotify, you guys should go follow me. Um, it's just my first and my last name, Samantha Knudsen. And now we have the upright rows um, with the barbell. And these actually hurt. Um, I don't know why they hurt so much on me, but I always have to really, really warm up to get um, really feeling it. And I always have to check my elbows and see um, my form. This form is a big major key on this exercise. I am being so extra today. I don't know what it is. I haven't had any caffeine, so I don't know. Um, I typically listen to Future or Big Sean or Drake or Party Next Door. <laughs> I'm currently listening to Future's new album and also Big Sean's. I love both of them. Uh, this is the rope tricep uh, pull down or extension, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just, I, I mean, I try and just make sure I feel my tricep. I also try and make sure that my elbows are, uh, close to my sides. Yeah, I'm always sore, so I'm always, always, always stretching. This is a good stretch for your lats. And this is the last exercise for tonight. Uh, now I get to eat. I'm so excited. Um, I just want to thank you guys so much for the support, and I hope this gives you guys some ideas for any future uh, workouts. And uh, make sure you follow me on all social media, link down below, as well as uh, liking and subscribing. Um, if you want, you can leave me a message down below. I would love that. Thanks, you guys. Bye.